What's going on with the truckers? You know, in the news media, there's always so many scary things that are like trying to end our jobs. So today I thought this was funny. A subscriber sent this to me. I don't know if you remember one of those toys where you had to fit like the different shapes inside it. So, <laughs> oh man, all I have to say is, look, I know you want to be macho. And when things aren't supposed to fit, you think you could push it in, but you're not supposed to. Not in this situation. <laughs> Look at this right here, man. It says, the reason this toy is critical for kids. <laughs> oh, man. man that cracked me up today. So I have to put up this video. But from that, I do want to give an educational moment for you guys. For anyone that's getting into the trucking industry, right? Just know, the size with the trailer, most times is 13.6. So on average... Right. If you look it up on Google, most bridges are 14 to 16 feet. So you would think that you're fine. But the truth be told, if you go to the East Coast, man, my heart has gone like this so many times. I mean, that bridge might say it's 13.8 or 14 or 13.6. And I'm just looking at it like, hell no, it isn't. And I've gone down it slowly after I've seen someone else go through it. And I'm like, okay. If he just went through it, I can't. And then while you're driving, you're just like looking up the whole time, just like scared as hell, right? But here's the truth. In the East Coast, the bridges are extremely low. And the reason why is because they made those bridges back, back, back in the day. So back then, there's just different standards. You know, they're trying to move the bridges and hire them up. But for the most part, there's a lot of places, man. You just got to be careful. So when you look, what ends up happening, a lot of people are on their phone, they're following their GPS, and it's a death trap. One advice I can give is because I've been through it. Before you try to just fit it in and get through and crush your trailer or truck in that bridge or get stuck, call the law enforcement 100%. They would rather help you back out and help you find a different route then get that whole area stuck and now it's a traffic and safety issue how do i know because my butt has gone to the east coast and my gps wild me out there's no excuses for it but i got stuck but before i made that decision i made sure i called the police department nearby and then they had someone escort me out and they told me straight up always call we're not always the bad guy so that's the best tip i could give on that if you go down a road and your GP, your trucker GPS, if you're in this situation, just like I'm in, you know, I called the police. I don't know if that's them right here, but I called them and hopefully they can, they can help me out. Um, yeah, yeah, they're coming. He's coming this way. So they're going to escort me out and help me. There he is. So I'm hoping this is going to be the escort that helps me out, but I, I didn't know what to do. So if you guys are ever in this situation, right, call the local police station and they'll guide you. But mother truckers, have y'all ever hit a bridge at all? And if so, you know, second of that, did you play that game growing up? Because that just made me laugh. Mother truckers, comment down below. Give some advice to these new drivers, especially on driving under bridges.